I thought we'd talk a little bit about um, Blossom End Rot. Uh, this is one that I got off one of the uh, dirt bucket um, Rouge de Mamans. Uh, yeah, that's a Rouge de, de Mamans. And this is Blossom End Rot. Now, I stopped the Blossom End Rot on this by giving it a dose of calcium and beaving up the water and stuff like that. But I thought I'd just cut one in half to show you how far it goes. That is as far as it goes. So if you stop it, it means that the tomato is still quite usable. Uh, didn't quite take enough off. That tomato, nothing really wrong with it. Um, certainly if you just want to save the seeds from it, there's no problem with saving seeds from these things. No problem with eating it either. There's the other side. You can see how far. I'll just zoom in a little bit. Yeah, you can see there how far the uh, blossom end rot's gone in. It's not very far at all. Cut through it. Clean. Plenty of good tomato in there. The um, yellow tomatoes, I've picked three of them now, um, they've been uh, an average size of 260 grams. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it the taste test. <laughs> it's a really bright yellow inside. It's, um, it's quite entertaining. Very novel this, I've never grown one of these. Okay, that's that. Let's do a bit of slicing. That looks like a nice bit. Out with the, the pepper jets. do with just one either. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of salt to start with. And how we go. Not bad. Um, it's not the best tasting tomato that I've ever had, but it tastes quite reasonable. I'll taste a bit without salt. A little bit watery for my taste, but as a novelty item in a salad, they're quite acceptable. Yep. Yeah. I'll save seeds from this one, definitely. I'm actually uh, quite a bit of the way through this tomato now I think I might have understated the case um, when I was first tasting this one I was slicing it fairly thinly as I do and I was tasting it like I'd taste a normal tomato now this one is not a normal tomato normal tomato you'll get the, the taste towards the center of your tongue on the sides this one that all the taste when I thicken up the slice a little bit comes directly on the front of my tongue and it's very sweet and it seems to be a bit acidic too. Um, the whole experience of this tomato is quite different so um, yeah I this is quite a nice tomato it's just different to a red tomato. It's looking like we've got a ripe green zebra That's got the feel of a ripe tomato, and that's got a very faint yellow lime green colour to it. Um, I think we might just pick that and take it inside and get some uh, footage of that with no, um, no reflection from the sun on it. 
This is the uh, the green zebra. It uh, weighed in at 210 grams. Now that yellow bit is on the bottom. And it's just on the left. You can see it's centre left there. Turn it around. You can probably pick it up a bit better. It's a lovely little lime green, sort of yellow colour. It's time to get to the business end of this green zebra tomato. Just see that yellow tinge along there. That's what. Um, well, it's one of the indicators that it's right. But like you put that in your hand, you know that that's right. That just feels like a a proper ripe tomato. What have we got inside? They're quite big seeds in it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's an interesting green colour. Let's get down to the business of a taste test. Out with the infamous pepper jats. Brand new, fresh one. Let's have a go at it. Very nice. I wouldn't put it in the class of a world beater, but that's a damn good tomato. The taste is um, towards the back of your tongue on the sides. It's quite sweet. It's got a good texture to it. In fact, that's really nice. I'm going to have another one of those. Put a bit of salt on it. I better not go too much to town because I've got to save the seeds out of this one for, um, for Ryan. Mmm. Yeah, I like that. There is no doubt about it, I will be growing these ones again. They're nice. It's interesting how different a taste this is to the yellow tomato. The yellow tomato, the taste is all to, down towards the front of your tongue. This one, the taste is way down the back of your tongue. Don't forget, I don't do Google Plus, so I can't reply to any of the comments that you put on the video. But you can always get a hold of me at uh, toddavel91 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.